everybody, my name is Maya. I am the tasting room lead here at Emeritus Vineyards and we're just gonna walk you through a super quick tasting here in the middle of Hallberg Ranch. Um, so in my glass, I have 2017 Hallberg Ranch and this property is 110 acres, all dry farmed Pinot Noir and we've been dry farmed for just about a decade at this point and we're one of the largest dry farms in California, which is pretty awesome. And um, so why don't we get started and we'll enjoy some wine. Um, you traditionally start by looking at the wine, you see the wine, you swirl the wine, you sniff, uh, and then you taste and savor. Um, so you just can, you can tell a lot by the color of the wine, um, look at the edges versus the center, um, look at the legs, look at the viscosity, um, and if you know what to look for, you can tell a great deal before you even smell it or taste it. Um, give it a little swirl to uh, add some air into the wine and kind of open up all of those aromatics and then just put your nose right into the glass and take a big inhale. Um, for me, the, the thing that I get the most from Hallberg Ranch is kind of like a, a room temperature strawberry. Um, when you come home from the grocery store and you're putting your groceries away and you forget about the strawberries on the counter and then you take a bite into one a few hours later, the, the fruit itself is, is soft, um, but the flavors have kind of intensified and it's super luscious and juicy and fruity. Um, and to me, that's the, the biggest scent that I get. Um, everybody is different. Your memories will trigger different scents. Your um, family background, the things that you like to eat, the scents that you enjoy to smell, um, will all kind of influence what you're getting from your wine. And there's no wrong answer as long as it's delicious and you're having fun. So just keep going. Um, so I'm going to give it another swirl and we'll take a sip. What I love about Hallberg Ranch um, is since we're dry farmed, the, or the vines are struggling just a little bit more to produce their fruit and their juice. Um, so you get this really lovely intensity, this great acidity and great balance that you sometimes don't get from typical um, irrigated vines. Uh, so when I taste it, you have the sharpness up front, but it still finishes super smooth and velvety and floral kind of on the back end. Um, and you have this great kind of weight to it, um, which you can sometimes get from like a Burgundian style of Pinot Noir. Um, so the, the Hallberg Ranch to me just has really lovely acidity, but balance on the back end. Um, the 17 is actually going to be a blend from all 11 clones that we have planted here on Hallberg Ranch. Clones, um, an easy way to think about them is like apples. You have Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, Fiji, Pink Lady Gala, whatever. You bite into the fruit and you know you're biting into an apple, but you can tell the difference between a Red Delicious and a Granny Smith. It's the same idea with clones of Pinot Noir. Um, you'll make wine out of those grapes and you know you're drinking Pinot, but a uh, clone 115 will taste a little bit different than clone 37. So usually we'll um, blend maybe three or four or five to get your traditional bottle of Hallberg Ranch, but for the 17 vintage we were actually able to blend all 11 clones together for the first time, which is really awesome. Uh, and 2017 was our inaugural vintage for our new winemaker, David Latin. Uh, he and our assistant winemaker, Keith, have been doing a fantastic job. So they finished the 15s and 16s together, but the 17 is definitely their baby from start to finish. And we're incredibly happy with the progress that they've made and the wines that they're producing. And we hope that you enjoy them as much as we do.